8.21 the time. Nearly 5 million Lloyds TSB customers will have their accounts moved this summer as the bank breaks itself in two to satisfy European Union competition rules. Yes, the existing group was too big and now 631 branches will be sold. 4.6 million customers will go to a separate company, the new TSB. Their new accounts will be identical to the old. The customers will keep their sort code, account number and passwords. But some customers are saying the changes weren't explained very clearly. Mm, Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Moneybox programme is here to explain very clearly. <laughs> Morning. I'll try anyway, As always. Really. So what's going on? What's happened? Well, as you said, because of European rules, Lloyd has had to split itself into two, basically, and there'll be a, a smaller bank called TSB. And anybody who is with one of those branches that's now being hived off will be moved, whether they want to or not, to the new TSB. No choice about it at all initially. If they want to remain with Lloyd's, they'll have to go through the whole process of applying as a new customer for a new account, and that will mean a change of bank account number and sort code and so on. And, of course, the new, the new branch, the nearest branch to them, may be further oh. away than the one that's changing to TSB. So, so they do face problems if they want to move. You can see why people might be irritated that they haven't been given a choice. Mm. But in practice, do their accounts change? Do they keep everything they've got? Well, as you said, they keep the account number, the sort code, and their logging on passwords and so on. But they will be getting a new debit and credit card. Those are going out now. Those will be branded TSB, and they'll have new numbers. So if you've booked, say, a holiday for the future on a credit card, and they say, oh, can we see the card you booked it with, and you produce this new card, which looks completely different, that might just cause problems. And you'll be able to use the old cards for four weeks, I think, but after that you'll have to use the new ones. But I think the real problem is people who have, who have physically moved. Now, mm. we move house much more often than we move banks. So if you started with Lloyd's many years ago and you've moved a couple of times, you might be miles away from your original branch. You might use the local Lloyd's branch and look on it as your branch, but really you're with another one. And if that previous branch becomes TSB, you will no longer be able to use the local Lloyd's and that will annoy people and certainly people have been have been contacting us about this um, this actually is Stephen who, who has moved to Lloyd's and he says he's been moved to a branch eight miles away which he doesn't think is very uh, very convenient and people have had to move um, to a business Oswestry no other Lloyd's branch uh, this man says it's madness so people have been finding odd problems I have to say I've had quite a few tweets and emails though saying things like um, contact centre very helpful, everything was processed very smoothly, so the, some people are happy, some people are not. And we feel a bit emotional about our bank accounts, I mean as you say, you know, don't we stay longer with bank accounts than most people stay in a marriage? Uh, well, I don't know about, yeah actually I think that's true, I think that was <laughs> I think that, is, that, that is kind of true, at least the average marriage ends before yeah, yeah. The, the, average, uh, the average bank accounts move, so, so we do <laughs> tend to stay, um, but of course if you want to stay with Lloyd you have to go to TSB and then open a new account and change. But switching accounts is going to be a lot easier in September and I'm sure in September I'll be back here explaining to you how, because that will be much easier in September. Well, that'll be good. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. See you as always. Thanks, Paul. 8.25 the time. Coming up.